framework to coordinate sexual and gender-based violence survivors in Kenya was this morning launched by First Lady Margaret Kenyatta. Now, Polycare, a one-stop center that will be available in all counties, will aid victims and survivors access justice easily and readily without suffering indignity. We now want to get to know more about this. Let's bring in our features editor, Sharon Mumani, who covered the event. Sharon, to you. Indeed, the launch of Polycare that has happened today is what we can call the launch of a promise. A promise to improve the sexual and gender-based violence protection environment in Kenya. As it is now, this environment is fraught with challenges. Victims who have spoken to us over the years, we've had these reports in the media, speak of having to recount their pain over and over again when they have to speak to the various agencies involved, both from seeking medical care in cases of physical harm to seeking justice where perpetrators need to be brought to book. So the processes have been long for these victims. More often than not, they don't come to an end. Perpetrators don't end up getting to book because of various challenges in the process, from collection of um, evidence to some evidence being said to be inadmissible. So the promise that this structure now has, this framework, is to put everyone in one shop, what is called a one-stop shop to respond to sexual and gender-based violence. And this polycare will be housed in police centers across the country. Of course, it's just be, what has been launched today is the policy. The implementation will see the centers launched across the country, accessible to all the people that need to have their cases heard and persecuted. So some beg your pardon, some of the voices, some of the actors and agencies that will form part of this multi-agency framework present in police stations include a representative from the public prosecution office, a magistrate that is said to be on call, a legal uh, personnel will also be available uh, to meet the needs of the victims and we'll also have uh, gender experts present at uh, this polycare centers. But the promise that I feel this launch has been is that victims can feel that there is a commitment to have these cases heard, to have their welfare considered right from medical uh, care, psychosocial support, all this is promised to be addressed in Polycare. And the commitment has been made by various voices, uh, including um, the first lady, Margaret Kenyatta, who was the chief guest at the launch today. Let's just listen in to her. I applaud the service for demonstrating effective leadership by coming up with an innovative and transformative initiative which aims to effectively respond to victims of violence. The idea of this integrated response to gender-based violence is also aligned to the commitment made by His Excellency the President earlier this year during the Generation Equality Forum held in Paris. This initiative, therefore, amplifies our national commitment to ending all forms of gender-based violence by 2026 and female genital mutilation by 2022. It also aligns with the commitments made during the 25th anniversary conference on international, on the International Conference on Population and Development, Nairobi Summit, to end female genital mutilation by strengthening coordination on legislation and policy framework, communication, advocacy, and evidence generation on elimination of FGM. Commitment. We wait to see how this will pan out, but from this place, there were various actors pres present during the launch from 